So, so welcome T1 Willow Valley Pine Valley course. It's a par four, 327 yards. That's it, drop on. Mike, you go first? Can't see a thing mate, too far back. Bunker, see it bunker. Oh, you don't have a top still? Welcome to the final day of Kung Golf with me and we're at Willow Valley and we're doing the Pine Valley course. So my day. So we're doing we're playing like targets. 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 In here. <laughs> I've put targets for everybody. And to earn your targets, you earn points. So, depending on your score by all, that earns your points. So, an eagle would be eight points, birdie six, pars four, uh, bogeys two, doubles one, and triples and over, you lose points. Are you confused yet, people? It's easy. It's dead it's easy. It's stable for, for people that can't <laughs> And we've got three mulligans each, because I'm pinching Stanley's great idea from the last episode. We've also got a steal option. You can steal anybody's ball at any time. You take their ball. How does that really work? If you put in for a bird, can I steal your ball? But it's in the hole. No, you're going you're gonna right, to steal it before you play Okay, so I chip on this green now and I'm three foot away. Yes. Okay then, so... I didn't, I didn't think no, that. No, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Envisioning it going to be around the greens. Okay. So you could steal somebody's. Well, so we'll do it on the greens then. Could be around the green here. So, so we'll steal the ball round the greens. Yeah, but it would on the par three. No par three. You want. Well, not if it's a par three. It's the same problem. If it's a close that, some sort of steal. Right. Why don't we just say that everybody's got to have gone, especially yes. on the par three. So if, if all of us have gone on that fourth person shot, and it looks like it's going to be a good one on a shit one. That's when you can shout and steal it. Right. Thank you. <laughs> it's all right. And we've got a switch. So you can make same sort of situation, make a person switch clubs before. 
So if you think they're going for birdie with a putter, they can play it with the driver or the chipper. Okay, and you've only got one you've of them. You've got one of each. Yeah. Which are three mulligans. Are you going to give me these highly anticipated yeah. envelopes? Right. Don't open them until what? Until the end. How do I know what I'm going for if I don't No, open it. just go for your, just, just play golf, get the best scores you can. So it's a blind target. It's then. a blind target. Right, well, I'm going to put this in my bag. Yeah. The series, I thought I was hoping it was going to be simple. Yeah. Well, like we say, <laughs> we're down here, uh, but are we playing the Pine Valley? Pine Valley. Right, Pine Valley course. It looks very nice at the minute. It's been a bit of an hectic start, obviously. It's a first thing on a Sunday morning, which I don't mind at all. But again, <laughs> You get in here, you're getting rushed off, there's people behind. We've not even done this intro until the second hole now. So um, the scores are very close. They will be on the screen right now. Uh, we are going to put in an extra little feature today. I've done. I wish I'd have known what to do with Paul Mark Watts. I don't think it needs any more features, but <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. So for anybody that does get a birdie today, it's going to work out on handicaps. Um, maybe I'm feeling a bit guilty after Stan's little bullying uh, madness that helped me a lot. Uh, <laughs> What I am going to do is say that if, if Stewie gets a birdie, which is not expected, he gets 10 points. If he gets an eagle, he gets 20 points. Darren and Stan are both the same, which is the way I've always done it. So again, boys, if you get a birdie, you get 5 points. If you get an eagle, you get 10. Myself, if I get a birdie, I get 2. If I get an eagle, I get 5. If you get only one? If you get only one, you win the entire series. Which is <laughs> yeah. But make sure it's on third. So given there's only Darren that's got an only one. Well. Can I tell you I've got a yeah, he never mentions it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, guys, we're going to crack on, um, and obviously we'll speak a bit later. 150, at front. I've got exactly the same, but that don't look like that, does it? Well, must be track master thing that we're using yesterday. It's measured it out. I've got a nine iron in me. On. I've got an eight. I'm doing well. He won't whistle a lot. What? Swear to it's a little bit light. It's a nice connection, it's just got yeah. a little bit right. It's not going to be bad though, oh it is. <laughs> Anybody want to switch? <laughs> I imagine Stu does. <laughs> I'm saving it. Did you play the mulligan? Did you get in? I'm saving it. But well, he has done. Big this could be all in one, this could be top competition over and we go home. It's on mate, it's a lovely okay. shot. That's 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 you want to switch? Oh, yeah, it's great shots. And it's out of you. Yeah, Stan, can we switch? Tony, Darren's just chipped on there, I didn't even press record. That's me, Stan, that's, sorry, that's Stan, that's me. Darren's just knocked on from over there, and Stu has just gone over the edge just to that side there. Let's go. Five. That guy's all number three. 255, I've got to middle 268 on the board. Half off. So a good job. That will be, uh, we'll be right at green, I think. Bunker, maybe. 
should step in. Could have missed it. It might oh, bounce in. Yeah, it has bounced in. That's got more jam than Hartley's used to go through. Hole. Yeah, he back in. <laughs> Going away, we got there back from Stanham's. It's a good drive. Let's do his second shot. Yes. Gonna hit power lines and kill us all. Pass oh, somebody over there. Cat pass! Wow, good luck with that one. It's a nice effort if it avoids that bunker. Bounce, that. Yeah, perfect bounce. That's a lovely bounce. That couldn't have been any more if it were remote it was controlled. So I got extremely lucky. Um, and that says I've got 80. Stewie's just come across fairway, I don't know if you've just seen him from them trees over there. Good. <laughs> Very lucky not to get in one of these miraculous hole things that's going on. What? Oh, do it. You never hit that with a ball. That's a nice roll, Darren. That's lovely from here. You could see it moving and everything. That was great. Right. Oh, lucky show. On hole number four, 350 yards, give or take. Pass off. There you go, the mate. Lead us off. Aye, right, but it's straight. Yeah. We're assuming they're all going to be red flags today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Towards the trees. Go past the trees. Oh. You and Darren are going to be together, I think. Oh no. Yeah, he passed through. Yeah, you were Darren. Pretty much the same so place. We've got Darren on camera in his second. Darren and Stuart together, pretty much. Stuart's second. He's got a difficult shot, but Stuart's. I didn't hear out here, so. Oh, fattered it. Oh, no. Oh, you got about my luck. Jesus. It. Got away with it. That was a shot, wasn't it? Is this a tree way left and it's just kicked it back into the middle? It's a really difficult green, is this again? Yeah, that don't cross my mind. But that one's right, it's all down. If you can get it to come back. Yeah, 
be alright, it'll be safe up there at least. Yeah, it's the best I could have done really. I could have gone a bit more on direction like, but it's well out mate. Oof, that's a horrible bounce. That got a lovely bounce off that grass hat. That's oh, going to come, come back down as well. That's only going to get better, that. See what I mean about luck? That is a nice shot. Very nice. That's a lovely shot, Stewie. All five. It is 310 par four. So it's another gettable one. Oh, look, he's still taking away. Pa. Chuck does look. Hole six, par four, 275 yards. It's saying 290, but I think it's 275. But there's a big warp hazard before the green. So, yeah, it's brave to try and take it on in one, but we'll see. It's going to be a strange one, is this? The warp hazard goes all the way to the back of the green. Yeah, it's a beautiful look. I'm have a go at it because I've got a mulligan. Just to have a go at it. Just to have a go. Yeah. He's not got a bad shout there, actually, with Mulligan. Yeah. I'm going to use one, though, Tony. I'm not bothered. Yeah, one way of doing it. Very right. Really right? That's very right. Really right. How far? Still like, turning. Like on cart path right. <laughs> oh, if I want, I wouldn't have done that. I can't see anything here. That's not going as right as mine. Good line into the, to the pin. That's not far off cart path. In fact, it might have gone over yeah. cart path. We're about saying that. Oh, we can be together. Oh. Hundred and seventy odd yards to a islandish green. Yeah, that's a 
Brilliant. Yeah, lovely shot. Water! Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that rolled. It'd be terrible if you shanked into water. 100, uh, yeah, it would be. 100 <laughs> yards. That's an horrible bounce. bounce. That is awful. Oh, Stewie. Where's that going? Shot down then. Shot's down. That Stewie just rolled on that. Shot still. Right, we're going to try and set this up on the green so it's focused on the green for this next hole. It is hole number seven. Um, it's par three and it's 120 yards. So I'll put some graphics on to tell you whose balls are what if they're on the green. So as you can probably tell, guys, not one of us got on green. Um, really good golfers. So I'm now going to take us to the green and hopefully we can get on for at least a second shot. I've gone over the back because I took the wrong club because I'm an idiot. Dan fell short, Stewie's gone to the left, Dan has gone to the left. I went to the left but then got a really good bounce. That's Dan's ball. Lovely shot. It's unconventional but it's worked. I'm not going to leave it in. <laughs> right, we're on, we're on all eight, par four, shortish again. 345 yards. I'm going first again. I've got 38 from here. 338? Yeah, from here. To the front? Oh, yeah, no, I've got 323 to the front. Well, I've got 349 to the middle. No, I don't. Can't see Mr. Power Machine. And I don't work for nobody. Time for us. Hey! 
Where did it go? It went quite fast before it bunkered. It didn't go very far to be fair, but it went straight enough. Oh, I've gone really high and in the tree. Oh, you might go over that, let's have a look. It will for a second, cut to get you in that yep. shit and piss everywhere. Yeah, there it is, and drop down. I'm trying not to. Yeah, you'll be alright. Ooh, you're doing that. I think you'll be alright there, mate, actually. Like that. I don't know. I couldn't have stuck to the tree line any better, could I? Oof. Right, let's do his feet pointing forward. Now they're pointing a bit to the right, so let's see where it balls is. Is that right? Where, the, where, the point I, I turn, where are you aiming? I'd turn a bit more left, Stu. Right, well, your feet like are going to the trees. <laughs> Not that fast, Stu. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's all right. We've gone where his feet were pointing that time. <laughs> right, so we're on the green of all height. Uh, Stan, you're there for how many? This will be me fourth. Fourth. Dad, and you're there for how many? Three. Three, Stewie. Fourth. Around the two. Everywhere I am for three in a Yeah. Oh. 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 Nine. Two hundred yards par three. Three. Let's go for a little run. Yeah, Bob. Uh, you got an extra twenty yards now. Very high. Yeah, great. I think he might have just got the green. I'm not sure. Come with me, Darren. Come with me. The man, the myth, the legend. Second shot. You just nearly hit flagpole, I'd still show, I think. That's Stan second. It looks lovely. Is it going to roll it? Oh, that's a lovely bounce. That's perfect. Great shot. It is a great shot. I'll play it down. Okay, that's uh, the first nine done. Um, scores, we don't know how well we're doing because they're all blind targets. Um, I'm playing all right, but some are a bit wayward. Dan? Yeah, I'm playing good. Yeah. Shocking. Playing all right. <laughs>
What I can tell you is that I have used one mulligan. I've used one. No. None. Right, so we, me and Darren's got two left. And well, the, I've got switches. We've got three. switches and we've got steels, this back nine. Switches and steels, yeah. So we've got switches and steels. We've got geese coming down this hole, so steel will be distracted. Very upset. Somebody um, yeah, I mean, first impression of the course, I've got to be honest, at the minute, I'm not that impressed with the tee boxes. It's tees are terrible. Yeah. The rest of it's all right. The fairways are nice. The greens Apart are all right. Apart from the big divots that are cut in. Those, those irrigation. are very strange. Yeah, they are. But other than that, I mean, the setting's beautiful. Yeah. And again, lovely, gorgeous setting. I don't think you're going to get a bad setting around this area, really. No. Um, and I'd be very intrigued. I think it spoils you because you walk by the championship course first and you see the quality of their tees. And I think it makes you sort of want to come back and play on that. And that's something that I just genuinely do. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. End of this video, I suppose. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed part one. Um, and we'll see you later in part two.